Do you think the chickens want to eat some of these grapes? Let's see who wins the great chicken race. So today we're going to talk about chickens. And we're going to be talking about compost. And we're going to be talking about chicken poop. And we're going to talk about how those three things go together and how you can use all three of them together too. I cannot believe how big these guys are getting in here. And now we are getting ready to release them out of here and allow them to meet the rest of the flock, which is always a little bit of an interesting little mix. Here's one of the hens out of the batch. She might look familiar to any of you guys who watch our vlogs because she looks very close to Sunny, our other Americana, who's my favorite chicken, so. All right, roosters are crowing, I gotta let you go. Whoa, no, no, not like that. I'm gonna let you down nice. See you guys later. So when we first started homesteading, compost was something that was a complete unknown to us. We didn't know exactly how to do it or why it's beneficial and what we could use it for. But we did know that a lot of homesteaders and people who farm compost, and we did know it was something that we were gonna have to figure out and learn here because it is such a beneficial thing that's going to help aid us with a lot of what we're doing around here. Finally, after stalling and figuring out what we were gonna do for composting, we put together a compost bin, and I did it really cheaply, just out of using free pallets and a few pieces of fence boards to put together for the front of it to hold it in. And after doing that, we had the end product of what looks like a compost bin. It's not the nicest looking one, but it was one that we were finally gonna be able to start gathering up and making our own compost in. There is something unique about our compost bin, though, that I found online, and I wanted to make sure that we incorporated for ourselves. So we decided to place our compost bin inside of our free-ranging chicken area where all of our chickens can have access to it. Placing our compost bin there gives us two really good, great benefits that I can't wait to explain to you guys today. It's just a hen, it's okay. It's wondering if you guys have food. Do you have any food? Just say hi to it, go, go give it a pet, pet it. So one of the first main benefits you can see is that Whenever we need to clean out our chicken coop, get all the bedding out, get all the poop out, we can scoop it all out from here, and then straight down this way, walking through is where our compost is. I couldn't tell if you guys could see it, but I think you can. So down that way. So it's not a very far travel to clean out the coop here, and then go down to the compost bin. Did you catch some tomatoes? Yeah? Can I see? Tomatoes. <laughs> tomatoes and potatoes. Potatoes. There's a worm in that potato. Yuck! Worm in the potato. <laughs> Ew, look at it. Is it like sticking out of it? Yeah. Uh, I don't think that's a normal worm. I don't know what that is. Give that Here, chicken. you got it. No, give it to the chicken. <laughs> Here you go, chickens. <laughs> they don't want it either. So every time we've ever cleaned out this coop, all we have to do is scrape all the bedding onto what we first used was snow sleds and would put them all on there drag them all the way over there would dump them into the compost bin and it actually worked really effectively and now we've gotten a little better where we can hold a lot more because now i've been using a wheelbarrow to get all of it and bring it over to the compost bin and it benefits the compost bin because it makes it really quick and easy for us to clean. And chicken manure needs to sit for a little bit and actually compost before that you can put it into a garden or anything like that. So what that does for us is it allows it time to sit here and we build it up for the season and then wait and then we'll use it again once the new season starts. And now for the second benefit of adding this inside your chicken run here. So as you can see, we have a mixture of weeds, fruits, veggies, some rotten stuff, some chicken poo, grass clippings. We put everything here inside our compost bin and normally what you would have to do now is you need to mix it around, scratch it around, turn it over, flip it, and working on a compost bin and making sure that you're consistently doing that can be a lot of extra work. Well instead of spending all that time flipping it as much as you would have to if you did it all yourself, putting it inside the chicken run. Anytime that you throw stuff in here, or even if you don't, the chickens will spend parts of their day inside this compost bin, scratching around, pecking around, playing around in it, 
which is actually almost like turning it and flipping it for you. So it's almost as like if you have little co-workers to your compost bin. And it benefits the chickens because they get to feed off that compost bin as well. So it's not like they're not getting paid for it. And it looks like they're getting ready to possibly start working in there right now. Now that I actually kind of flipped around and turned some of it over for them. If you could see right here on video, this might just look like a big mud spot. But it's actually really good compost that before our compost bin was breaking where you see that wall that our one chicken on right here, Sonny's standing on. That was broken down and all of our compost just started falling down here as you can see. And this stuff's actually really nice so I'm actually going to scoop some of it up right now and throw it in there but let me get a little closer so I can show you. It is crazy that stuff that I feel like is down here right on the ground next to the compost bin is such good compost. And I think the compost bin is going to benefit from having good compost thrown on top of it. And the chickens are going to like it also. Now you can see I have a whole bunch of corn husk and apple pieces here. And I just kind of want to show you why this is a beneficial idea. And how your chickens react by throwing this stuff in here. They absolutely love it. Let me show you. So now I know what you guys are thinking. You're probably wondering how well this compost has worked for us. And do we ever really actually use our own compost for anything? Our chickens are having a compost party now. Look at them. So this past season was actually our very first season of being able to grab our own compost over building up time over the year and being able to apply it into our garden. And the one spot we used it was our garden beds, which is all the plants you see right here. And all these garden beds I don't know if we can say for sure it's because of our compost that we did ourselves. Every garden bed here has had great success this year in growing. So much success that there is still stuff going. This is actually our second time using this bed this year. We grew garlic in it at first. Now we have snap peas and carrots going here for a fall harvest. Same thing with this bed. We did lettuce in it. Now we have a whole bunch of turnips for our next fall harvest. This bed we're going to be doing our celery that's coming. Lots of celery here, celery and lettuce here. The soil for all these beds were so great this year. And like I said, I can't for sure 100% tell you guys if it's because of our own compost that we put in here. But we did get to use it for the first time. And it doesn't seem like it hurt the beds. So that seems like a good win for us. Are you saying compost party? Are the chickens having a compost party? How's the compost party? Uh oh, everyone's leaving now that we came. I don't think we were invited. Sorry chickens, all right. So overall now after having our very first full year of being able to build up this compost bin, fill it up with whatever that we need to put inside it. I mean, we have it pretty close to the garden here. So anytime that the garden had weeds or anything that we had to tear up and throw inside there, we did. That compost bin got completely filled and we've been able to use it. And now the compost bin is getting nice and full once again. And we're going to be able to apply it next year for our next garden. And I'm guessing, knowing Chelsea, that we are going to need more and more compost because this garden will probably expand another so amount of feet somewhere. I don't know exactly where, but we like to go with the flow every once in a while. So, so if you were to ask me that would I put a compost bin in the chicken run ever again, do I think it's a good idea? I think I'd probably say yes. I don't have any other evidence to tell me why it isn't. It's worked out really good for us. The chickens love going inside there throughout the day. We don't have to throw anything inside it and they will just be in there scratching around, finding anything new. And it will be something that will cut down on your feed. So you guys have a great day and a better tomorrow and maybe put a compost bin in your chicken run. See you later.